Hi everyone, this is Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project and I'm bringing you another uh, video using the uh, SuperPower Calculator. Um, the SuperPower Calculator um, is uh, a product of Steve Bateman, Alex Tan, and myself. It is available on the Facebook group, uh, the file pages of the Facebook groups, uh, either the Palladino Power Project Facebook group or the from one runner to another uh, uh, Facebook group, um, and you can get it there. I also had a recent video that tells you how to uh, you know, grab it and make it your own. In any case, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go into using several of the different calculator functionalities built into this SuperPower computer our super power calculator. Um, and uh, I'm going to use it in a specific case. Uh, you know, on, on the Paladino Power Project Facebook um, page, um, Dario uh, Kiseno um, asked to asked me to provide race power uh, planning for uh, the Berlin Marathon. And uh, Dario was really good in providing me some information um, for uh, doing all these uh, estimations and calculations. So here's what he gave me. He gave me uh, the results of his recent three minute and 10 minute CP test, which allows me to get a very current read on his uh, FDP slash CP. Um, he gave me his stride weight and told me that it was fixed, a fixed stride weight. He, had, he hadn't changed it, um, so that helps uh, in terms of the uh, the calculation. Um, he gave me also let me know that uh, you know he typically trains in uh, Bo the Bogota area at um, just over twenty five hundred meters. And Berlin is about 3,400, or, or scratch at 34 meters in elevation. So it gave me that information as well. So we're going to be doing an altitude adjustment for his, his target power as well. And then he also provided me with the um, running effectiveness values from a couple of his recent long runs. And um, uh, let me... Uh, get into it then. Um, one thing that you need to know for to, to do race power planning and really get it fine tuned, you'd like to have a recent FTP or CP value that's pretty valid. You'd like to know the, the runner's stride, uh, stride weight setting. You'd like to know the representative running effectiveness for uh, their. Um, long run tempos and marathon power tempos at the end of long run. So it's representative of what they're going to be doing in a marathon. And then also an idea of their Rigel exponent. So uh, I, I don't have all of Dario's data. I don't work with him day to day. So I don't know some of these as well as I do some of my one-on-one -on -one athletes that I'm working with all the time. But he did give me a lot of really good information, so I think I can come up with a pretty good estimate. So, let's start with the SuperPower cal Calculator. And uh, you start up on this upper left-hand uh, drop-down box, which allows you to select what you want to do. And uh, in, in this case, I, there's many options. What I want to do is I want to take his 3-minute and 10-minute CP test and figure out what his current CP slash FTP is. Um, and uh, here's how we'll do it. So we'll start there. Um, he's uh, 62 uh, kilograms in weight. I just put that in, it's an optional. This is the key here, yellow. You wanna fill in all the yellow uh, uh, fields. Uh, blue is optional. The green fields are going to be the output, the result of the calculations. So I, I put in a 62 kilograms, and this is not required, but I put in that, you know, he is typically trains at um, 2,550 meters. I don't know his typical training temperature, humidity. Um, 
I what I did is I just have to assume that it's it's close to what Berlin is. It's I know it's not, but it's you know without the actual data I don't know. Um, if you're doing it to your, yourself, you you go to the forecast and you go you know what you're usually doing, particularly your typical training uh, temperature and humidity and also what it was when you did your CP testing or FTP. Um, so I'm, I'm doing the best guess here um, in, in these entries. And uh, I, so I put in uh, 13 Celsius and 70% humidity, which is, this is about what it's going to be on the, the uh, 28th of September. And uh, it's supposed to be a little bit wet as well, at least by the forecast. Uh, so, in any case, this is uh, the optional entries. And so, from that, the next thing I want to do is I want to go to activities. So, that's where I put in the activities, which are his actual results, his actual power and duration. So. He uh, quoted me a 309.2 watts. Um, and, and remember up here, you have the option of, of selecting um, watts or watts per kilogram. I selected watts, hours, minutes, and seconds, or, or seconds. Oh, and go, let's go back a second. I could select meters or feet in, for elevation, Celsius or, or um, Fahrenheit. Um, so you do have these, these drop boxes allow you to select your, the units that you prefer. So back to his uh, CP test. Uh, his three-minute test was 309.2, and his 10-minute test was 280.9. So I go back after entering those required fields. Again, they're yellow required fields. I go back to the main. I scroll down, and here is his FTP. FTP is... 269 watts, um, his uh, anaerobic work capacity is AWC, um, also sometimes called W prime, similar to uh, FRC and WKO, similar, but not the same. Um, anyway, his, his, um, his AWC was 7.277 kilojoules, uh, which uh, tells me it's a pretty good test um, if he's using the uh, non-wind stride. The wind stride is going to generally have uh, higher reported watts across the board, but high, relatively higher at shorter, higher intensities like the three-minute test, which will yield a higher anaerobic work capacity. Um, so, in any case, this looks like a good test to me, uh, 269 watts. And again, this is at uh, 2,550 meters. All right, so we, we started. We, now we have this FTP value. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to convert him down to Berlin. Um, so we know his Bogota FTP, CP, and we want to convert it down. So I'm going to go to this uh, calculator function, uh, which is adjusting power based on altitude, temperature, and humidity. Click on that, and I put in is FTP of 269, and actually in the required data field, I put in 269, which is the same as his FTP, because that's what I'm trying to convert. If you wanted to convert other powers, to see what they would be at um, uh, at a different uh, altitude, temperature, and humidity uh, setting, you can enter that here. But in this case, I'm converting his FTP slash CP. Um, and we're going from Bogota. And again, I, I don't know exactly the differences, so I'm just putting the same thing in. I'm putting in 13 and 70 for both of them. Um, and we're converting from the altitude of uh, uh, 2550 uh, meters um, down to 34 meters. All right, so 
Uh, once I've entered those, it then, here's the green output, the result. It's um, there, it gives you the, the ingest, adjustment for the environmental conditions. And um, his FTP CP equivalent at Berlin at roughly sea level is about 297 watts. So he gets a nice little bump um, and that's what we will then base our next uh, set of, of uh, calculations, which is the actual race strategy. So we've gone from his CP test in Bogota. We found a CP slash FTP at Bogota. We've now converted it to um, the equivalent at Berlin. And now we're going to come up here and do some race power planning scenarios. So come down here, there's a lot of different options, but we're going to generate race power scenarios using pairs of rival exponent and running effectiveness. So I click on that, and now I'm going to shift over to scenarios. So um, on the scenarios page, notice it drew in his FTP and his corrected FTP. Um, one thing I failed to do uh, show you is that um, I also entered 42,200 um, 42, meters. With this calculator, you can just type in the marathon and it will also do the, it'll convert that to meters. So you can put in the word marathon, uh, for example, marathon. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Here we go. Marathon. There we go. So just converted it just by selecting that drop down box. All right. Again, you can change your different, you want to do miles or whatever, you can enter it that way. So we have the required of what his, his uh, stride weight is, his Bogota FTP, uh, marathon. We've done all these conversions uh, previously. Now let's go back to the scenarios. And we need to input, again, once again, let me go on a tangent here. It drew in from that main page, it drew in his weight, Bogota, FTP, and his Berlin FTP. And we're going for, uh, we're calculating race planning strategies for a marathon. So here we go. Um, so what Rydal exponent? I don't know him that well, but um, it's, it is very rare. Maybe, you know, you get someone who's a 220, 230 marathoner and, and minus 0 0.07 can work. Um, uh, I should, uh, as an aside, say that, that this calculator also has a functionality where you put in several races and it will calculate your rival exponent. Um, I'm not doing that here, I'm just uh, best guessing. Um, so also, even a minus 0 0.08, um, I would never use that in someone who is, uh, say a, a, a three, a four hour marathoner, for sure I would not use that. Um, uh, he's looking like he's in the, the, the two, 45 to 250 range. So I think minus 0 0.09 minus 1 uh, 0 uh, minus 0 0.10 are more realistic. Uh, the, the minus 0 0.10 is more conservative. The minus 0 uh, 0.09 is probably pretty close. But I'm going to use those two. Um, notice I bracketed, I, I bracketed all the way down um, and I could even do minus 0 0.11, which isn't appropriate for him, I don't think. In terms of running effectiveness, he, remember he gave me his, uh, his uh, marathon power tempo at the end of his long runs from recent long runs and he had one that was 0 0.99 on September 1st, and a more recent one is 0 0.98. So um, I don't know how hilly they were relative to Berlin. We know Berlin's flat. 
Um, if they're hillier than Berlin, then that's good. He may pick up a, uh, a point to, to you know, 0 0.99. Um, but in general, when we get those, those marathon power um, tempos at the end of the long runs, usually the runner's hitting that same running effectiveness if it's a similar terrain or maybe one point down. So I really want to bracket him to be fair uh, at 0 0.97 to 0 0.98 as the estimated running effectiveness. Of course, you know, if you have runners that you've worked with for years or, you know, or at least a year and they have prior marathon data, you just get their prior running effectiveness and, and uh, use that or bracket around that. But what I did is I bracketed 0 0.97 through 0 0.99. I don't think he's going to drop to 0 0.96. But I think the, the, the most fair, the most accurate is 0 0.97, possibly a 0 0.98 if he's going from a little bit hillier uh, course for his long runs uh, down to Berlin. Anyway, we plug those in and here are the outputs. So we're looking at um, somewhere the more conservative rival exponent uh, suggests an average power target for the for the marathon of 263 watts, and the more aggressive suggests 266 uh, to 267. So he's somewhere in the 263 to 267 range is about the right power target for him. The Calculator goes one step further and will estimate a time. Again, this is an estimation. Estimation is predicated on the power being uh, performed uh, as, as estimated and the running effectiveness being performed as estimated. Then the time will result. So um, in this case, we're looking at somewhere between um, 448 high to, uh, I scratch that, 248 high to, to 251 low as the, uh, the outcome on this particular race. Um, again, um, you know, it's going to be wet. We don't know what the wind conditions are going to be like, but um, based on the altitude, conversions and so forth, we're looking at about 263 to 267. What I would then advise him, I would say um, for the first 30K of this marathon, be conservative, be in the you know, 262 to 265 range and no higher. Um, after 30K, if uh, Dario is feeling really good, then lift the power. In other words, don't take a chance of, of overextending yourself early on. Lift it later on. If you're feeling really good at 30K, then, then bump it up to 265 to 267. And, you know, if you're feeling really good with, with um, you know, 3K to go or so, then, then let it rip. Um, but this is uh, what I would... Uh, uh, estimate for Dario for the uh, Berlin uh, Marathon. And for all of you following along, this is how you can really use this uh, superpower uh, calculator um, to a maximum benefit using the various options and, and functionalities that you have there. So I um, hope to see you next time. And uh, Dario, good luck to you. I wish you the best. Bye-bye.